Thank you for watching Toledo's only live local 9 a.m. show where we do love local and local history. And tomorrow, America's wars come to life at the Wood County Museum in Bowling Green. Joel Berg, Civil War reenactor, will be part of the event. Good morning. Thanks for joining us today. Good morning, thank you. So uh, this is um, at, the, at the Wood County Museum. For folks who haven't come out, this is a great opportunity to check it out because you all are gonna be doing something really cool tomorrow. Explain what's going on. Well, in addition to the uh, museum being open, uh, we'll be having activities near the, near the cabin, which happens to be a cabin from the 1860s. So I'm dressed as a Civil War soldier today, kind of uh, on behalf of showing that what a Civil War soldier would look like from that period. But uh, we're really going to span the uh, U.S. history from the early days of the fur trapper. We have a young man coming from the 1700s depicting uh, the fur trapping trade, all the way through uh, Battle of Fallen Timber, up through uh, World War II. We've got people coming with a display in regards to that, all the way up to, Af actually all the way up to the Afghan War, which just actually completed this last year. So we're really all about just appreciating what uh, men and women and families did uh, in regards to our independence, which of course the fourth just passed a few days ago. Right, so a good opportunity to show the kids too and to help them learn in that appreciation and discover that. They're also gonna have a chance to go in the log cabin and do something what's called a drill. Explain that. Well, the, uh, the drill will actually be out in the grounds, but we'll actually be uh, helping the kids understand if you were a new recruit, whether, whether it was the 1700s or probably tomorrow, what you would have to uh, learn in regards to be a good soldier, which is learning the basics of a drill of marching. So we have uh, several of our people who'll be uh, instructing the kids on how that all works. So that's kind of a fun activity. Um, we almost kind of make it like a Simon Says, you know, lip, put your right foot forward, put your right foot back. <laughs> so we kind of have fun with it. Um, and why is it so important to teach these, to teach the kids and have this event for the community? Well, of course, you know, of course, we have the museum here and uh, the cabin, which is historical in itself. The site, actually, uh, there was a cabin on this site in the 1820s. Uh, now, that cabin's gone, but the uh, Wood County Museum was able to uh, um, get a cabin that uh, was from the 1860s, so they placed that. So we use that kind of a focal point, again, to have people appreciate, you know, you kind of have to have a picture of what the world was like and uh, to kind of appreciate all the good things that we have now, that sacrifices and what people did to kind of make everything good for us presently. You know, it just wasn't handed over, but a lot of people, men, women, and children that really uh, worked towards us having our independence, uh, which again, we've celebrated just this last weekend yeah, just, in regards to July 4th. Just a few days ago, a lot of sacrifices that have been made. Um, so tell me a little bit about what you're wearing. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm wearing basically a uh, uniform. Uh, I normally would do uh, my role when I do Civil War. I'm a Civil War surgeon. So uh, today I just have my medical bag, and um, I don't have my apron on, which was not a very pretty picture, but it would <laughs> be covered with phony blood. Yeah. But, um, but uh, this is the, the wool pants, uh, the wool vest, a linen shirt, and a heavy hat. So uh, during the Civil War period, uh, the soldiers uh, all wore wool whether it was July or whether it was December. So uh, people always ask, oh, aren't you hot? Well, yeah, yeah, we are. And I don't even have my coat on, so <laughs> I'm, I'm uh, actually pretty comfortable today. Um, but uh, so, so that's what this, and the braid indicates that I'm an officer. Um, but again, we have hope to have uh, activities for, uh, that isn't just related to the soldiers, but activities uh, that uh, depict uh, the civilians as well. Uh, we have a woman coming who should be doing uh, herbal medicine. So that's pretty interesting to see what uh, medicines they used before where you could run to the farm and, and get what you needed. Often those things were uh, generated uh, from knowledge from the natural environment and from the natives. Uh, so she'll be doing that display. Uh, we have a loom in the cabin. Hopefully that'll be underway. And uh, again, so it's just activities and just talking about uh, American history um, and history from this area. Again, from the 1700s, uh, basically spanning about 260 years, 1700s through 
2021. Covering a lot of ground there and families can experience that tomorrow from noon to four and the demonstration day is free to attend. Um, you if you do want to see the museum though, um, that is seven bucks to get in. So um, be aware of that. And for folks who haven't been down to the museum, where is it located? Uh, we're off uh, Highway 6, just south of uh, Bowling Green. Very easy to find there. Uh, thank you so much for joining us this morning, Joel. We appreciate it. Great, great, great. Thank you so much. Hope you, to see you tomorrow. Yep, yeah, take care.